Bitcoin closed this month a bit above 60k and that's 10k below last month actually completely erasing last month's 10k gain so maybe the 70k of last month was a bit too much there was ETF FOMO and of course there was a never seen before all-time high before the halving and all that so despite this a bit lower uh, closing price this month Bitcoin is still 36% up year to date and also Bitcoin is at the halving because this month is the last uh, blue dot because it's month zero here and from next month May we will count down again to the next halving in 2028 but this month is the last blue dot and every blue dot last blue dot every halving has been at this gray stock to flow model price so that's very nice also the average price is something that we can calculate at the moment it's 34,000 and that's a little below of course the uh, 55,000 that the 2019 original stock to flow model predicted but it's ballpark okay it's the same order of magnitude and and don't forget in 2019 the bitcoin price was below 4000 starting off bitcoin closed this month slightly above sixty thousand dollars marking a ten thousand dollar drop from last month's peak this fluctuation erased the gains from what was fueled by etf fomo and a pre-having surge despite these dips bitcoin has still managed a strong 36 percent increase year to date this is significant as we're at a critical juncture, the last blue dot month on the stock to flow model, signaling the countdown to the next halving in 2028. What's fascinating here is the disparity between the current price and the stock to flow model's prediction. While below expectations, it's within the same order of magnitude, suggesting a level of underlying stability in Bitcoin's market behavior, even amid volatility. Also note that the average Bitcoin price was above the stock to flow model price in the cycle before the last cycle the 2016 2020 cycle so i updated the model parameters did not change much 2024 2028 target is still around 500k on average so uh, also note that the error always goes down after the halving so there is a halving model value goes up and it of course it takes some time the bitcoin price has a lag to catch up with the model value it's every halving it's the same it will also be true this halving in my opinion so we see the error already going down it will go down again because the price will not be 500k of course uh, in may it will slowly over the months uh, go into the that model price so what's next for 2024 I repeat the same as last video it is inevitable that we reach 100k in my opinion because minor revenue has to recover and mining revenue because of the halving did half all the miners the entire industry has seen its revenue drop by 50% and it has to recover and usually last three halvings it did recover within four to eight months so that's well within this year 2024 and the only way for mining revenue to recover is that price doubles so estimating from current price of 60k we should be well above 100k this year then 2025 I think the top will be then because historically the top of the bull market after the uh, has been after the halving and uh, about one year one and a half year after the halving so that's that brings us in 2025 and the big question of course is um, will the price follow diminishing returns and I think a price of well around 200k for the top uh, will be in line with diminishing returns or will price indeed follow the stock to flow model again and will there be exponential returns again 
You know my answer. I think stock to flow is still valid. I think we will have exponential returns at least until 50% adoption. And we're now at, well, uh, somewhere between 1% and 10%. Uh, so uh, far away from that 50% adoption, I think exponential returns are what we're going to see. As we continue, it's crucial to understand the impact of Bitcoin's historical and predictive models on its pricing. The stock to flow model, which predicted a staggering average of $500,000 for the 2024-2028 cycle, shows only minor adjustments despite the significant market changes. Here's an interesting point. Historically, post-halving periods have shown a decrease in error margins of price predictions, meaning the model becomes more accurate. This aligns with the expected recovery of mining revenues, which historically have rebounded within four to eight months post-halving. This is crucial because minor revenue recovery often signals price increases. A doubling from today's $60,000 could potentially push market prices above $100,000. This chart, the realized price, is very interesting. And I tell you why. The realized price, which is basically the cost price of Bitcoin, all the Bitcoins, all the 19.6 million Bitcoins, weighted against their last transacted price, is now $29,000. Dollars and the two year realized price is $45,000. It's a little bit higher than last month, but it's plateauing a little bit. Same is true for the five month realized price, it's at 60k right now. And the very interesting thing is that that is a huge support level in bull markets. So, dips like we see, like we were seeing last month usually bounce on the five-month realized price, the short-term hodler also known as. And we can see that here in 2020, it was a bull market. It dropped till the five-month realized price. And you can also see the plateau in the realized price and the two-year realized price. You can see it here in 2017. Here in 2017, that little dip dipped until the light blue five month realized price and then went up again. I think that's what we're going to see as well. And the same happened in, in 2012, right? Here, puff, it goes to the, the light blue line and then resumes the bull, the bull market. I think that's the exact same situation that we're in right now. Realized price and now realized return. Realized return is still positive, 7%. So April sellers got 7% return. And the data suggests that the sellers are taking profit and that uh, it's not the ETF weak hands that sold. Uh, taking profit in a bull market is a very logical thing to do, especially for traditional finance people. Uh, 7% is a lot in, um, in a couple of months in traditional finance terms. So don't blame them uh, sometimes, and especially if you're new, to the market, to the Bitcoin market, you want to see if, if the profits are real and you want to take the profit out and, 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 uh, and then reinvest it. That's what I think is going to happen. Bitcoin in profit also dropped a bit, of course. It's not 100% anymore because the buyers at 70K are in loss. So 12% so is in loss right now. And that's yellow. And we could probably compare that a little bit to what happened in 2020 here, red, red, yellow, and then the bull market resumes. Or in 2012, we see a beginning of the bull market and then yellow and then uh, second start. I don't think we can compare it to 2013, which was after a 10K. And then uh, the bull market continued to do another 10K. Uh, or um, with 2019, when there was a very early bull market a year, it, or it seemed to be a very early bull market a year before the halving. That was just too early. We're now at the halving. So I think it's more like 2020 and 2012, but time will tell. The realized price of Bitcoin, now at $29,000, and the two-year realized price at $45,000, provide a foundational support level in bull markets. Observations from previous cycles show that significant dips often find strong support at these levels, suggesting potential for upcoming rebounds. Thank you for joining us today at Unscripted Crypto. Keep an eye on these indicators, and remember, the world of cryptocurrency is always evolving. Stay informed, stay engaged, and let's navigate these exciting times together. Until next time.